I'm off. It's been a real blast, but I gotta split. See ya. Hey, he isn't sick, he's a fake. It's okay. After all, why make him stay on the boat if he doesn't want to? Enjoy your vacay, kids. Catch you on the flip side, huh? Whoa! Wow! What happened here? Isn't this something? What's going on? Good morning. Nice day. Tanaka, what are you doing here? Who are all these people? These people are joining us from the Silver Star Retirement Home. It is Mr. Thorndike's hope that you and your friends will learn from them. They will be your coaches, you see. Coaches? But Mr. Tanaka, what will they coach us on? On how to relax. You see, they have all worked hard for many years, and now the time has come for them to relax. They will teach you how to as well. No thanks, Mr. Tanaka. I just want the helicopter to take Sonic home. He will remain here. Even a great warrior needs his rest. Constant battles not only exhaust the body, but also the mind. The warrior must relax and be rejuvenated, so that when next he goes to battle, he is mightier than before! Hey, where are you going? What about me? No, wait! Come back! And so, from that afternoon on, our new friends taught us all how to relax. Just look at that, Tails. Isn't it wonderful? Sometimes life goes by so fast that we never take the time to appreciate the simple things. Like a blue sky and fluffy white clouds. I understand you and your friends are from another planet. My. It's so fascinating. Yeah, we've only been here for a little while, but we like it. Everyone's been so nice to us since we got here. I'm glad. How lovely. So, you come from another planet, do you? Yes. And so the lady asked Cream the same question over and over. <laughs> Sonic was so bored, he tried to jump ship all the way to shore, but he missed 15 times. Not bad. He went about five nautical miles on that one. Hmm. Little guy gets further every time. That Sonic can't relax for one second. Oh, what's the use? I'll find somebody else to play shuffleboard with. <laughs> Something tells me you got a thing for that little Sonic fellow. What makes you say that, mister? <laughs> I can tell just by looking at you. Is it that easy to see? Why, sure. It's obvious. Then again, Sonic probably has that effect on all the girls. What girls are you talking about? <laughs> it sure is a beauty, eh? Those dimwits thought they'd seen the end of me. But I've outsmarted them. I've got a shiny new base hidden where nobody can see. You have outdone yourself, Doctor. Very impressive. You can say that again. What a shocker. I had no idea there was another super-secret base hidden down here. Of course you had no idea. If you had, it wouldn't have been a secret. <laughs> it's required of all evil geniuses to be smart as well as sneaky. Let's get started, Doctor. I cannot wait to see the look on Sonic's face when he sees the powerful new Geeko Boko XL Super Ultra. Just a minute! Huh? Hold your horses, you dumb-headed donkey! Who gave you permission to name anything around here? I'm the boss! I'll do the naming! You mean you've already named the three components? But of course! There's Deco 2, Boko 2, and best of all, the XL Super Ultra Eggman Extreme! I do not like those names! Neither do I! Why do our sections get boring names and your section gets a big, long, fancy one with cool words like Super Ultra Extreme? What is the deal with that? We should be able to name our own sections! <laughs> Well, excuse me. I thought I was doing you a favor by naming them for you. Well, maybe you should have asked us first. All right, all right. Don't get snippy. I've written some second and third choices in here. 
What about Ace Jack King? Nope, I don't even play cards. Rock, paper, scissors? You can't be serious. Um, eeny, meeny, miny. Uh, X, Y, Z? Uh, how does egg, egger, and eggiest grab ya? I think that could work. As time went by, we learned more and more about relaxing and enjoying life from our new friends. Soon everyone was having a good time. Everyone except Sonic, who still hadn't gotten used to the idea. So he started hatching an escape plan. And this is what happened. Why would I be worried about the X-Tornado? You see, we've been on this boat for a couple of days, right? Uh-huh. Well, Tails, did you ever think that just maybe machines can get lonely? I bet the X-Tornado's been awful lonesome since you went away. Oh, no! I never even thought of that! I feel so guilty! How could I abandon you like that? Poor little X-Tornado! I got him! Do you really mean that, Sonic? Well, sure I mean it, Amy. I think you're just about the cutest thing I've ever seen. The way you swing that little hammer yours around, my heart beats a million times a minute. I know, you could never care for somebody like me. I guess that's just the way it has to be. Perhaps I could go on, if you would only swing that hammer once more. You want it, you got it! <laughs> Amy's gone berserk! Uh-huh. This boat's gonna drive everybody bananas sooner or later. What do you think, Grandpa? Maybe we should ask the captain if we can turn the ship around. I don't know. I have a feeling something fishy's going on. Did he really truly say that, Amy? It's the truth, Cream! He said his little heart beat faster every time I swung my hammer. He's so dreamy. Wow, that's so sweet! <laughs> I have a feeling one day soon Sonic's gonna ask me to be his girl. Really, Jim? Stop! 